better than we found it. My speech has three parts. It's a story about my reading, a proposal to make school textbooks more appealing, and a more global message. I know a TED speech is more into storytelling than a lecture. So let's start with a story, a story of my reading habit. Thus is, is my friend from school. We play hard, we fight hard, and we laugh loud. We share what many adults lack, perfect synergy. Thus is, is into reading, but I am not. I never like to sit in one place and spend time reading. I love to listen to stories, but never to read. My parents tried their best to get me into reading, but it all ended infertile. But my friend Dasi says grit was bigger than my parents. He introduced the most appealing book according to my judgment to me, The Wimpy Kid by Jeff Kinney. Why I liked it was pretty straightforward. It has many drawings. Also, it's close to, closer to my style of drawing. It's easier to woo your minds to read more if you incorporate more pictures than text. This was Dasi's verdict, and I stand by it. If you can print school textbooks with more pictures and drawings, that will create a reading experience as well as a powerful learning experience. There was a famous TED speech based on the impact on creativity by schools. It talks about how school system systematically curtail creativity of growing minds. But that same system could be used to promote creativity of young minds by introducing complex concepts in a palatable way. I believe introducing comics to school curriculum is more productive. These days, kids would slip comics to inside their textbooks to read on the slide. Comics are considered as recreational reading at its best, but usually adults see them as mind-numbing tribes. Comics become a legitimate form of art and literature. They should incorporate into our textbooks now. The, uh, there is emerging research that shows that comics are not only motivating, but support struggling readers, enrich the skills of accomplished readers, and are highly effective at teaching sometimes boring materials in subject areas such as science and social studies. The evidence is and it unequivocally supports the value of comics as a rich and effective educational tool. Now I have almost covered the two important parts of my speech or story. Let me recap. The first part is tell you how I got into reading. Then I covered why comics should be incorporated into our textbooks. Now for the final and the most important part. The last part is woven around Dasis and his affection for books. His love for books is enormous. Books are his life, love, and everything in between. He even goes to the extent of fixing turnout textbooks, restoring the cover pages, and erasing the graphics drawn on it. Many of our textbooks are used textbooks by previous students and teachers. Normally, we are instructed to return them as it is, so that the next batch of students can use it as well. We always follow the instructions and return them as it was. But Dasis never does that. He fixes the broken pages and covers and erases the drawings on the pages. He returns the restart book to the next batch. Imagine Dasis's philosophy practiced by many adults 30 years ago. The world would have been a much better place than this. If they took the chance to preserve the world for us, we would have half of the issues we go through now. From the devastations of climate to the horrors of gun violence and widening wealth gap, today's generation of young people will arguably inherit more crisis than ever before. It may seem insurmountable, but you can change 
even revolution. You just need to know where to start. Thank you.